How do you? I'm here with Rory, Rory Black, who I believe is a founding member of Kendall Cycle Club. His times for the Fred Witten are pretty blisteringly quick, to be fair. And I don't really know much more about him, except there's a possibility he used to ride a little bit off-road and he's getting back into it. So I'll ask Rory some Fred Witten questions. Right, I should have had a shave this morning, should I? <laughs> well, do you shave your legs? That's the question. I do, yeah. yeah. You do? <laughs> right, morning Rory. Right, so Fred Witten questions then. Yes. Now you've had time to look at them. Yep. Question one. How many Fred Wittens have you done and was there a particular ride that stands out? So I had a quick look online. <laughs> and all of it last minute. All of it last minute, yeah. <laughs> uh, 13, 14. The one that stands out, definitely 2006. Uh, just moved back up to Cumbria, riding with Lakes Road Club. Started riding with some of the faster guys there. Uh, we did the Fred Witten as a sort of loosely as a group, although I ended up with a load of lads from Honister and did it in six hours 16, so I was completely blown away because wow. I just didn't expect to do a fast time. And were you Fred. real sucking from the very beginning or were you just I riding together? It was hard. I mean, the guys from Honister, we got to. Uh, we got to West West Cumbria and they're saying, oh, we could do really well here. We could, we've got a decent time going, so let's crack on. So so we did. I ended up leaving them on Hard Knot and then, yeah, just soloed all the way back cool. to uh, to Coniston. But Fantastic. Right, over to question two then. Which of the following do you pay most attention to leading up to the thread? Nutrition, pacing or tech? Definitely say pacing. Um, it's all about the training. Although... Uh, Probably about over a year ago now, turned vegan. I mean, I've been vegetarian since the age of 18, so uh, so now I'm on a vegan diet. It'll be interesting to see how that translates right. to doing yeah. a Fred. I mean, the build-up, I mean, for me, that's the, that's the, the big thing for, right. for doing a decent Fred time. I mean, the bike, obviously, yeah, doing it on a okay bike. And the yeah. tr nutrition, stop taking gels. Uh, right. If I do take a gel, yeah. it might be one or two, but yeah. I've had bad experiences. I think we go on to talk well, about Well, so yeah, so question three then leads, perfectly leads straight into it. What is your favourite food on the bike? So my favourite food is um, uh, these flapjacks that Laurie Lambeth, he gave me the recipe. Ah, um, homemade ones. Homemade ones, yeah, yeah. So I wonder it's, if this uh, ingredients and recipe is out there for the Yeah, it's not. It's the not masses. It's, no it's, secret sauce. It's no there, secret, then. no. It's, yeah. just, it's just dates and nuts. Right. Um, and it, because it's all blended together, it's re yeah. really easy to digest. Right. So it's all broken down already. Um, yeah, it's quite easy to uh, to take on board yeah. because um, yeah, there's a bit of moisture obviously there from the dates. Right. The worst thing is having dry food and yeah. it sort of gets stuck in your throat. So, so we need to speak to Chef Laurie Lambeth then. Chef Laurie <laughs> Lambeth, yeah, yeah. He has, I think he's got V2 now, but I'm, I'm sticking with V1. That's, <laughs> that's probably the, the best recipe that's come up so far. Cool. Um, right, so question four. What's your favourite or worst part of the route, i.e. climbs, views or anything else? So my favourite, you, the Fred Witten when it finished in Coniston, that used to be my favourite. The, the, that last the, sprint the, into the, the end. The, yeah, just yeah. going all the way from, once you've done Ryan you know, yes. you've pretty much nailed yeah, yeah. it and you just had to get There's to Coniston. There's one little climb, isn't there, onto the main road? Yeah, and yeah and then just, once you're on that main road. Yeah. And, but now it's at Grasmere, obviously, there is a, a grind up to Grasmere, mm. which I don't really enjoy. Right, question five. What's your best time? So best time... If you're happy to divulge it, of yeah, course. No, yeah, so <laughs> it's when uh, we cycle with uh, Laurie and Shoe Green and there's a few others, so that was six hours, ten minutes and one second. So. Fantastic, amazing, absolutely amazing. Right, and last question. Have you got any gems, any cycling secrets or anything you'd be prepared to share with anybody that might just help them on this journey for the Fred or Sportives or... As I said before, gravel riding, which has now become a massive thing, especially big days out on the bike. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you know what? I don't do massive days out. Um, very rarely do I get 100 miles in prior right. to the thread. Well, um, anything for a 100 miler then. Yeah, it's yeah. all, I don't know. What, what's going to be interesting is all the stuff that I'm doing on Zwift at the moment, yeah. just seeing how that translates yeah. to... Because uh, it might not necessarily mean that you've got the long, long distance legs, no. because we tend to spend a lot less time on mm -hmm. Zwift. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, and it's just trying to grab time when you can, Simon, yeah. um, as well. So obviously, just yeah, doing doing shorter rides, yeah. but yeah, the intensity stuff on Zwift. I mean, I've always been a fan of uh, hill reps so yeah. on the Greyhounds, yeah, yeah. and that that's yeah, that's worked for me. Well, like fifty-two so. of them. 
Uh, in no, one day. Know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'd say six. <laughs> yeah. No, that's uh, that's a different story. Yeah. Cool. Right. Well, thank you very much for your time. Okay. Hopefully, you'll get into the thread this year. Fingers if you're, crossed. Yeah. If you yeah. entered the ballot. Yeah. And if you don't, you've got a whole what, fifteen months to train for the next one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much, Rory. Thanks, Simon. Cheers. Good morning. All right, how are you? Uh, what did you do, Cleo? Hey, oh. Right, back at base. So, that was a fantastic interview with Rory. Just seems so cool and calm about it. I don't know what's going on. So, in my head, I'm thinking, right, nutrition's got to be key. The bike's got to be absolutely perfect. I am terrified about the weather. Terrified is maybe a bit of a strong word, but if it's absolutely chucking it down and blowing a hoolie, I don't think there's any other word to describe how I would feel on the day if it was grim. But I suppose everybody else is in the same boat. But there's... Right, so we've got, for the next Wit and Waffle, Helen Jackson. Is it an FKT? Do you call them FKTs when it comes to cycling? I know when you do when it's running, fastest known time. I believe she holds the fastest time for a female on the Fred Witten route. I don't know which route, I don't know if it's the Grasmere version, the Coniston version, or both. So I'll let her fill in the gaps. Like and subscribe. Thanks to Rory again. We'll see you next time. <laughs>